How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. So as we know, the last two practices, both joint practices with the New England Patriots, Packers inside linebacker Devondre Campbell was absent from both practices. It was classified as an ankle injury, and we weren't really sure what the severity of that injury was. Well, we did just sort of get an injury update, and it's a pretty disheartening one in terms of what the severity could be. Devondre Campbell missed his second straight practice with an ankle injury. He wasn't in locker room during post-practice media availability, Ability, but I saw a scooter and a walking boot at his locker. That's a tweet from a Packers beat writer saying that although Devondre Campbell wasn't at the post practice press conferences, so he couldn't exactly ask him about his injury, he did see a walking boot and a scooter in his locker, basically signaling that this ankle injury may be pretty significant. And this is the first update we've gotten at all of Devondre Campbell's injury that he likely suffered in the Monday practice, as he didn't practice in both joint practices against the Patriots. We've seen a lot of players pick up random injuries, such as Kenny Clark with a back injury and then return, so I didn't really think nothing of it because we didn't hear anything of it, but now seeing that those items were in his locker, I'm sure we might get an update by Matt LaFleur over the coming days of what that injury exactly is. And if Devondre Campbell is in a boot and is is using that scooter because of his injured ankle, that's a pretty significant injury. The Packers inside linebacker room, in my opinion, is pretty thin, um, considering they have to use two of them in a base defense. So normally where it would be Devondre Campbell and Quay Walker, the past two days of practice and what it will be, you know, if this is a significant injury is Quay Walker and Isaiah McDuffie. Now the past two days of practice, I have been impressed with Isaiah McDuffie. I feel like he's really stepped up to that next man up type of mentality. He's recorded a couple of pressures, uh, has played decently well in the coverage game and against the run in the both practices against the Patriots. And I've always been pretty high on Isaiah McDuffie. I thought he did really well in last year's preseason and thought he could see a significant increase in defensive snaps this year, regardless, even if Devondre Campbell wasn't hurt. The Packers also have Eric Wilson, Tariq Carpenter, and Jimmy Phillips Jr. Now Carpenter and Wilson are primarily special teams players. Eric Wilson did have some defensive snaps last year. Uh, Tariq Carpenter being a seventh round pick last year, he was drafted as a safety. He converted to linebacker this offseason. Kind of unsure where he really fits into the Packers defense. I kind of just see him more as a special teamer. And Jimmy Phillips Jr., an undrafted free agent um, from this year, has actually looked pretty good in training camp. But if Devondre Campbell is out for any significant period of time into the regular season, this is a massive blow to this Packers defense. When they first signed Devondre Campbell two years ago, he went on to have his best year of his career um, in Green Bay in 2021. Now, fast forward to 2022, it was kind of a down year for Devondre Campbell. He's still an average linebacker right around that 15 to 16 mark in terms of PFF grade, which is, you know, kind of better than what we're used to expecting uh, from our inside linebackers in Green Bay, uh, but definitely was a down year compared to his 2021 season. But he later then tweeted he was going through a shoulder injury the whole time, and he's ready for 2023 to come right onto the scene. And it's looked like he's been very motivated and ready to go. So this would be a huge hit and just a shame if this is a significant injury. Now, if this is a significant injury, Devondre Campbell would likely open the year at least on the PUP, which would then make him miss the first four games of this season. I hope that's not the case, and maybe he just has the boot and uh, scooter in his locker in case he needs to use them, because if it's in his locker, that technically means he wasn't using them at that very time. But the fact that those things are in his locker definitely isn't a positive thing. And if Devondre Campbell is out with a significant ankle injury, I feel like the Packers are going to need to probably sign a veteran at inside linebacker. It's a pretty thin uh, group right now in free agency, but you know, I, I believe in Isaiah McDuffie. I believe Eric Wilson could play some defensive snaps, but if you're running base defense a lot and you need two inside linebackers out there a lot, you're going to need some more talent in that inside linebacker room for sure. But all we can do right now is kind of just wait until we get an official update on how severe that injury is. But to me, this is a pretty bad update in my opinion, and it's not looking too good um, in terms of what that severity of the injury could be. So let's just hope it's nothing too, too bad, and maybe he'll be ready by week one. We can all hope. But that about does it for this video. I wanted to give you guys a quick update on Devondre Campbell, as I know we're all kind of questioning, okay, what is that injury and why hasn't he practiced the last two days? And if you enjoyed this video, if you could please leave a like down below, it supports my channel a ton. And if you are a new viewer, I post Green Bay Packers content almost every single day. If you want to stay in the loop with everything Packers throughout this entire training camp preseason into the regular season, news analysis, updates, and live streams, you'll find it all here right on this channel. But I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching. And as always, go Pack Go.